Tiggy and the Giant Wave. A happy ending story. Is it time for bed already, Daddy? Yes. There's just enough time for one more story, Hoppity. Oh, good. What's it about, Daddy? A little girl and a great wave. Oh, is it a bad wave, Daddy? Well, let's read the story and find out. Okay. Ah. Here's Tiggy in the kitchen helping Mommy make strawberry jam. Just then, Tiggy's daddy came home. I've got good news for everyone. A letter has arrived from Uncle Pintog. He has invited all of us to his special home at the seashore. Oh, boy! Can we take Teddy, too? Well, I'm afraid not, darling. But you can tell him all about the seashore when you get back. What is the seashore like, Mommy? Oh, it's warm and it's wonderful, Tiggy. There's sand to squirm your toes in and bright shells. And, of course, the big blue ocean is there to play in. The seashore sounds beautiful, Mommy. And when Mommy gave Tiggy a new shovel and pail for the trip, she could hardly wait till they left for Uncle Pintog's. The next morning, Tiggy's daddy borrowed Herbert Hare's old car to take them to the seashore. All the way there, Tiggy asked over and over, Tell me again about the ocean and the sand, Mommy. Why, Tiggy, I don't think I need to. Just look around you. We're here. Oh, wow! And standing there to greet them was Uncle Pintog. Ah, this must be Tiggy. Just look how you've grown. Let me take your hand, and we're off to a wonderful picnic at the beach. And it was a delicious picnic, too, with fresh fruits and tasty sandwiches and Tiggy's favorite cookies. Uncle Pintog helped Tiggy build a sandcastle. What this sandcastle needs is some decoration. What should we use, Tiggy? Seashells! Why, of course. An excellent idea, Tiggy. Let's go find some. And Tiggy and Uncle Pintog had such a good time that Tiggy could easily imagine staying at the beach forever and ever. It's fun splashing about in the water, too. Tiggy watched everyone having fun. You go with Uncle Pintog down to the water. He'll take care of you. Tiggy wasn't quite sure she would like wading in the ocean. Now don't let your dress fall into the water, Tiggy. We don't want you to get all wet. Don't be scared, Tiggy. The water won't hurt you. Then, all at once, a wave much bigger than the others came rushing towards Tiggy. Please help me! Oh. It's okay, Tiggy. You're quite safe. I don't ever want to go in the water again. I hate these waves. There, there, matey. Nothing to be afraid of. Let's go find Mommy so she can dry you off. Meanwhile, Daddy and Uncle Pintog went to find a big surprise for Tiggy. There's nothing to cry about, Tiggy. I want to go home, Mommy. I want to see my teddy. Oh, Tiggy, what nonsense. That naughty wave was just playing a game with you. I won't ever go near the water again. Daddy, won't Tiggy go in the ocean again? Maybe, after she remembers how much fun the water is. I love the water, Daddy, just so long as it's not too deep. That's right, Hoppity. And right now, Daddy and Uncle Pintog have a surprise for Tiggy. Daddy, what is it? It's a pool. Oh, boy, oh, boy. 
Why, a pool! A pool for me to play in! Ay, lassie, I'm glad you like it. Why don't you help us fill it with water from the ocean? Oh! I'm scared the giant wave will get me again! After a while, Tiggy decided maybe she ought to help Uncle Pintog and her daddy. The more Tiggy watched, the more she wanted to join in. That's my brave girl. Now we will soon fill the pool. The beach is great, Daddy. Especially when you can spill all the water and make a mess. And it's all right. <laughs> That's my Tiggy. Everyone worked hard, and it wasn't long before Tiggy and Mommy were standing in the beautiful little pool. I like the water, Mommy, and there are no giant waves to chase me. There was a nice surprise at the end of the day. Everyone went back to Uncle Pintog's house and had delicious treats. Tiggy could hardly drink her juice. She was interested in all the wonderful things. She recognized an anchor, a treasure chest, and an old pirate ship model. I see you're looking at the pirate ship, Tiggy. Aye, those were the days. Why, on that very ship, Captain Beaverbeard sailed through a nor'wester that raged for two weeks. Why, the wind blew so hard that all the trees were knocked down and had to be propped up by the villagers. Then, pirates attacked the ship and captured it with all the treasure. I. Those were the days, Tiggy. All too soon, it was time to go. Goodbye, Tiggy. Come again. Goodbye, Uncle Pintog. Thank you. Uncle Pintog and his friends waved goodbye until Tiggy was out of sight. Tiggy was so excited about her first trip to the sea she hadn't noticed a strange package in the car. Imagine Tiggy's surprise when she found Uncle Pintog's waiting pool in the garden. Oh, my very own pool. Isn't it wonderful, Teddy? Now we can go waiting together. Don't be afraid, Teddy. I'll hold your hand and you'll be fine. And Tiggy began wondering about when she'd see the seashore again. It wasn't very long, because on another lovely summer day, they were all back with Uncle Pintog. You hold your Teddy tightly, and I'll hold you as tightly as the pirates held their treasure. <laughs> you hear that, Teddy? There's nothing to be afraid of. If a giant wave comes along, we'll all be ready for it. <laughs> when can we get out my pool, Daddy? That story made me want to go swimming. When it gets a little warmer, Hoppity. What story are you going to read to me now, Daddy? Now, Hoppity, I told you this is the last story today. See, I know, Daddy. I was teasing. Oh, hoppity. <laughs> <laughs>